2020 brought us a once in a lifetime pandemic. It also brought into sharper focus issues that have existed throughout our lifetimes. Although people of color and their allies have been fighting to bring racial inequality to the forefront of our minds for years, the brutal killing of George Floyd was clearly a tipping point. It was that defining moment where nothing afterwards would ever be the same. While I felt a deep sadness and anger, I personally struggled to respond as a father, as a business leader, as a human being. And that was until I received an email from Hakeem Gaines, a director in our pediatric office in Charlotte, with the very simple subject line, hurting. He was not only hurting as a black man, but as a Bayada employee who felt abandoned by the silence of his own company. It made me feel guilty. It made me wonder, are other people feeling this way? Do others feel invisible? whether due to their race, religion, ethnicity, ability, sexual orientation, gender identity, age, or any other difference. From that moment, I became resolute. I felt it was my responsibility to galvanize our organization around the unifying tenets of the Bayada Way. We're a community of compassionate caregivers, and together, we embarked on our journey toward true diversity, equity, and inclusion, where one day we may all share that same sense of belonging. Working with a sense of urgency, we set out to fulfill the promise of the Beata Way by taking action. We launched weekly small group discussions and we partnered with the diversity movement to help guide our efforts while we committed to learning, listening, sharing, and organizing. Our diversity, equity, and inclusion journey was launched. Diversity refers to the range of identities, both outwardly visible and not, including gender, race, ethnicity, religion, nationality, or sexual orientation. Equity recognizes that advantages and barriers exist and is the implementation of processes and policies to address the imbalance. Inclusion is how people with different identities are valued, leveraged, and welcomed within a given setting, such as a team, workplace, or industry. During our first town hall, we embarked on our journey to listen, learn, and share. Feelings and perspectives can be difficult to talk about and just as difficult to hear. Of course, just talking doesn't solve problems, but it's the first step towards taking action that does. I have to take off a part of who I am every day as a black woman. I'm struggling. Ask, are you okay? We are not okay. Some organizations are running and hiding from it and hoping it goes away. And then some are putting out press releases and they're checking the box. And then there's others that are creating that courage, right, to champion a way forward. And that's where Beata is working to live. To be truly inclusive, we must respect and embrace the diversity of our colleagues. And the best way to do that is through education and open, honest discussions. Our monthly town halls bring our diverse group of employees together to learn and share. It is a forum to express their views, concerns, and perspectives on topics that represent who they are, so they can be their true selves without worry or judgment. When you're working with like a, a sense of like stress of like, who might be judging me for what, or am I welcome here? Am I making people uncomfortable, you know? Having that innate like sense of discomfort can take you out of your head, take you away from your work. So to not have that worry, to, to feel that support and that love, um, you know, it's a huge weight off your shoulders. If we're family, which I see my, my office here, we're a family, you could talk about everything. You could talk about everything, but we need to be mindful and respectful 
and pay attention to those social cues. You can tell when somebody is backing out of a conversation. You can tell when someone's not joining the conversation and you can respect that. It's okay that you don't know how the best way to approach that person. Once you get comfortable with the uncomfortable, say, hi, I want to get to know you. What's the best way to communicate with you? We've sought to engage, educate, and empower employees by using multiple continuous touch points throughout the year. And as we learn and grow together in our mission, we expand our reach and our impact across Bayada. Consistency is the cornerstone of true diversity, equity, and inclusion. Continually listening, learning, and improving is our goal. Progress versus perfection. We take accountability at every level seriously. From hearing impairment accommodations and a more flexible and inclusive holiday policy to three newly formed employee resource councils and DEI education on a variety of topics. We are keeping our promises. As the new director of diversity, equity, and inclusion, I'm excited to continue the tremendous strides that have been made over the past year. I am so impressed with your willingness to have difficult conversations, to explore your own feelings, to share experiences even when it's uncomfortable, to recognize and respect different perspectives, all in the spirit of universal faith, hope, and love. We still have much more to learn from each other, and I encourage everyone to keep listening, learning, and sharing. Doing so not only allows us to continue to make strides at Bayada, but to stand proudly as a shining example of what good looks like. Here we stand today, more united and more resolute than ever. The strategic priorities we've set forth are built on the principles of diversity, equity, and inclusion. We continue to seek out and build teams of talented employees just like you, who use their unique experiences and perspectives to deliver the highest quality care and experiences for our clients and their families. We drive new growth opportunities that give equitable access to quality care for clients of all needs in places across the globe. And we use data and insights and analytics to better understand and meet the diverse needs of our clients and our employees. Throughout this past year, you've helped me learn and grow in my own personal journey, which in turn gives me perspective and guidance on how best to lead our organization to improve. While I'm incredibly proud of the progress we've made, I know we're just getting started. There is still so much work to do. Our commitment to DE&I helps ensure our clients always come first and that our employees are supported as our most valuable resource. Thank you for walking this journey with me. I think of it and us as a tapestry of unique individuals woven together in our shared mission of helping people enjoy a better quality of life at home. When times get difficult, and they often do, let's all remember that diversity, equity, and inclusion is really the fulfillment of the Bayada way. For what divides us pales in comparison to all that unites us. Thank you. <laughs>